<laughs> I do have to say, considering that this character kind of just came out of nowhere, um, damn, is she capable of handling herself? Even though she seems to be getting rather... For how panicky she is and whatnot, she's surprisingly good at handling herself. Keeping it cool and being able to shoot weapons. Yeah, if you don't mind just waiting back there, you know, I appreciate that. Yeah, can we maybe just go? Stop standing there, just run. Thank you. Get in the elevator. Where are we going? Atmosphere control. It's the fastest route to the tram station from here. Tell us. But that light is <laughs> that light isn't the worst light. It's making that like basically impossible to read in the middle there. Have fun reading that one, guys. They were still alive. We're alive. No thanks to you, Doctor. That's enough, Eckhart. You'd have run too if you had the chance. I'm happy we didn't lose you. Thanks to Dr. Hoyle. She saved my life. A cop, a grunt, and a suit. Quite the team. Don't get me started. What are you doing there? Trying to trap those creatures in the water tunnels. But I can't work out how to shut down the water flow systems. Then allow me. Hydroponics is my domain, remember? Great. Get on it. Is he in charge? He likes to think so. <laughs> Funny. So will we. Kneel with me. We can scout the route while the doc does her thing. I'm coming too. Sure. Eckhart, stay here and keep the doc safe. Of course. You take good care of her, okay? If it weren't for Dr. Hoyle, I wouldn't be here. I'm not a miracle worker, dear. Your injuries still need time to heal. Take care of yourself. You would think you'd want to, you know, leave one of the actual trained guys to be with her. Lexine said you were an executive. She didn't say your name was Eckhart. Warren Eckhart, isn't it? That's right. Executive Director. Of Colonial Mining Operations. I know. You transferred to the Ishimura just a few weeks ago. <laughs> Worst bloody career move of my life. Nice to know my reputation precedes me. Sure it does. You're the one who switched all the personnel after they found the marker. One day, I had an assistant who'd been with me three years. The next, I found myself working with a grad student who spent her lunch hour praying to the marker. Staff rotation is standard policy, Doctor. Resource distribution is my responsibility. And what about seeding unitologists into every corner of the ship? Is that your responsibility, too? I fail to see what difference someone's faith makes, Doctor. Look around, you stupid marker head. This awful mess is what difference it makes. If you think it's just... Sit down! Sick. No, Doctor! 
Master, my god has very different plans. Can't say I'm surprised. You know, it might have been better if you just not start an argue <laughs> to not <laughs> have an argument argument match like that. I don't know, it's just one of those it is one of those frustrating things in games like this, like come on dude. Fifty more HP. With all the crazy stuff going around, like you should There's no need to make things worse between you and other people. Like absolutely your priority should just be getting out of there and slowing them down. I can understand like the frustration she'd be feeling if, you know, she knows for sure what he's been up to and such, but it's kind of like put your survival first and then you can bash him later if he lives. What's taking them so well. long? Maybe we should go back and check on them. Give them another minute. We made it down here without a scratch. I reckon this area is secure. Don't shoot! It's Eckhart! Run! They're everywhere! I don't see anything. They were right behind me. Following the lift. Don't worry. You're safe now. Where's the dog? What happened? We were attacked, and she... Hal locked herself in with them to buy us some time. Told me to go on. She's dead? You were supposed to protect her. She locked the door. There was nothing I could do. Frankly, she probably saved all of us. Are you sure? You thought I was dead before, but... Quite sure. I'm sorry, Lexine, but she's gone. The time she bought us just ran out. Move! Get in the tram! <sighs> We'll have to split up, find a shuttle. Is that really a good idea? The longer we stick around, the more chance of winding up like every other dead bastard on board. You and Lexine, check out the flight deck. What about you? Me and Eckhart can take the maintenance deck. We might get lucky and find a repair job. And this is us. Come on, Eckhart. Good luck. Why me? Didn't want to split the lovebirds up. Well, this means Gabe is playable in two games. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I can hardly believe I'm still upright. Adrenaline, do me a favor and keep it together a while longer. This thing isn't over. Yes, well, I wish it was. We're not all soldiers like you. Just focus on keeping yourself in one piece. You seem pretty good at that. Look up there, in the vents. 
Some of that fleshy substance. Yeah. Somehow I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Keep it tight. This wouldn't be as awful if it wasn't so bloody dark. Just stay close. I wasn't even trying to grab that, but, uh, you know. We shouldn't have split up. Who even knows if there's a shuttle down here? Eckhart, shut up, or your big mouth will get us both killed. Okay, I can keep moving. If anyone ever asks you this, is there a Come on. Is there a character that's been playable in multiple Dead Space characters besides Isaac Clark? You can say yes. <laughs> See the flamethrower. A shuttle. See it, Hunt? Still in one piece. I miss that. Open this door. No, sir. My lieutenant's orders were not to let anyone in here. You'll have to wait till he gets back. Your lieutenant's probably dead. I'm ordering you to unlock this door. Look out! Soldier, get out here and cover me! Quite a bit of crowd control, so that's good. Oh. My god.
damn it, soldier. I'm only going to say this one more time. Open the door. Sorry, sir. I, I can't risk them getting in here. You just watched us kill them all. Uh -huh. 